This time in August is perfect for a visit to your favorite park to keep an eye on the nighttime sky. I'm Macy Tetrick with WRTV, and it's time for the Perseids Meteor Shower. If you look to the northeast toward the constellation Perseus, you may catch a glimpse of a meteor shower. There's a comet that orbits the sun called Comet Swift-Tuttle. And uh, as it orbits the sun, it leaves behind a trail of debris. When that dusty debris enters the Earth's atmosphere, it burns up. What we see is something commonly called a shooting star. But this month's event is one of the best of the year. Because A, you can see up to 100 meteors per hour in some cases, and B, it's in August when the weather is usually very nice. While the Perseids peak August 12th and 13th, you will be able to see them for the rest of the month. So even if the night is rainy or cloudy, there will be other nights with clear skies good for viewing. Go out to one of the many state parks that are in Indiana that are kind of in these secluded areas, Shades, Turkey Run, uh, Beverly Shores up north on Lake Michigan is an international dark sky place as well. Grassy Creek Park in Indianapolis is hosting a meteor shower bash. I got my uh, little Saturn earrings on. I just, I've always been a big, like, face, like, space fanatic. Quinlan Malloy came up with the idea for the event, which features projections of the constellations plus space-themed craft and snacks before going outdoors to sky gaze. And the outskirts of Indianapolis that you can find find some nice viewing space that's dark. After that, you won't need any special equipment, and frankly, it's better to see it with your naked eye. They cover such a huge area of the sky that your telescope, which has a really small field of view, won't really be able to catch anything. It doesn't matter how old you are, it's just so that thrill that you get to have when you see a shooting star of like, oh, I just saw one. Macy Tetrick, WRTV.